Hello, okay, my name is Tristan. I'm going to talk today about the Open Energy Monitor project. It's a project to develop open source energy monitoring tools. The Open Energy project is a team effort between myself, Glenn Hudson here in the audience at the front, and we work with many other contributors across the web. Our interest in developing an energy monitor is to create tools that can help us work towards sustainable energy in a way that adds up by measuring where we are now and giving us the information we need to optimize and change our energy use. So the, the open source part is about encouraging people to develop and make technology to producers, not just consumers of things. Practically, open source means open design, the CAD drawings, the source code for a technology. And the results of this uh, simple action gives rise to a whole range of important benefits from learning, the empowerment that comes from learning, the results of innovation, collaboration, and community. The project builds upon many other open source technology projects, such as the open source Arduino platform. And we are in turn um, creating a shared open technology resource that others can build upon. One of the uh, most inspiring things about the open hardware movement is the businesses that are growing out of it. Companies that are pushing open design forwards, like uh, Adafruit, Arduino, uh, G Lab, Sparkfun. There are several businesses being created around the Open Energy Monitor project. Glenn and I run an online business selling the hardware units currently in kit form. This enables us to continue to work on the project in a full, full time. So, this diagram shows the main components of the Open Energy Monitor system as it stands today. At the heart of the system is the EMONTX. The EMTX can measure AC current, can measure AC voltage, can measure temperature, they can interface with some uh, pulse output devices and some smart meters. We then transmits this data wirelessly to any listening nodes. Um, the next module is the, the EMON GLCD, it's an LCD display and um, it provides a live readout. As in every part of the system, the hardware schematics, PCB files, enclosure design, and source code for these units are fully open source and available through the website. The data can also be relayed to the web for visualization in our open source web application, Emon CMS, which has lots of different visualization tools for exploring the energy data. You can deploy Emon CMS on your own server, remote or local, or even on a Raspberry Pi. So with a system, you can build a home electricity monitor with which you can identify and visualize the portions of the electricity use that come from your, your base load or from your immersion heater. Um, but a home energy monitor gets more interesting if you also have some generation equipment like PV panels. Um, but that's just really, um, one of the things that's been really missing from many of the solar PV monitors that are available is a comparison of how much you're using to be able to answer the question, am I generating more or less than I'm using at any given moment? With ours, it's really easy to monitor both use and generation. And you can make the LEDs go green if you're generating more than you're using, or, or red if not. So, when we initially developed the system, we were focusing more on monitoring uh, home electricity consumption and generation. However, a friend of ours, John Cantor, an experienced heat pump consultant based in Mid Wales, has adapted the system for monitoring the performance of heat pumps. He explains that the monitor is like a doctor's stethoscope. Using a system, you can analyze a heat pump's performance remotely and identify problems and therefore be able to rec recommend to the owner how to improve it and, and how to fix faults if needed. So another diverse application of the, of the system has been to monitor the temperature inside and outside a honey honeybee colony. The monitoring data allows the beekeeper to remotely monitor the health and well-being of the hive. It's amazing how the bees maintain their core temperature at an even 34 degrees, even when the outside temperature drops well below freezing. Um, because, because of the open nature of the technology, people can use it and build on it in the way they would like, from different applications to different modules. And at, and at a time when there's a concern about who owns smart meter data, you have full control over your energy data. So more than just developing a technology, a system and end product. One of the main things we're trying to do is share how the technology is built, from the basic physics of AC power monitoring, to circuit sensor design, to um, how to code your own web applications. And the system is an example of what can be built, but the real outcome is an open source technology commons. 
We hope this can be a foundation on which others can build solutions and be inspired to in turn share their technologies openly so we can keep building on each other's work, work together and solve the environmental challenge faster. Thank you.